All right, so at this point, you should have a pretty good grasp on the different operators that you're going to need for coding. So we've kind of graduated from our terminal over here over to here where we're going to create actual files. So to create a file, you can either come up to here and click on this and as you can see it says new file or you can do control N or you can come up here to the file drop down click on new file and you get a new file it's called untitled 0.py the .py is how the computer identifies it as a Python file using that PY extension so I'm going to go ahead and save this. Go to File, Save As. Now I like putting my stuff over in my D drive under something called My Python. And this first one, we're just going to call Hello. So, although Anaconda automatically gives you the PY extension. There are some IDEs out there that do not. So if you go to this drop down and just follow it down, you can create whatever you want as far as a file. You got text files, JavaScript, XML. We're going to go with Python file so that we get the PY extension. Click save. And now you can see it says hello.py up here. I'm going to go ahead and close this temp py file and we're going to be working in here so this one's going to be a pretty simple basic video we just created a file we're going to enter some code it's just going to be a print line so we're going to type in print with some parentheses and you'll see when I do the parentheses in this particular IDE that it go ahead it closes the parentheses as well and we're going to enter some text so I'm going to need to wrap that in quotation marks so when I hit my first quotation mark it automatically wraps it with the second quotation mark and then I'm just going to type in hello world and it'll look something like that right there so now although Anaconda, or I should say Spider, this IDE, automatically saves this thing as you type it, a good rule of thumb is to go ahead and resave it. So just click File, Save. And if you remember, it's the hello.py file. So I can close this. Close my IDE. and then reopen it once again this just takes a minute or so and once it pops up you can see that it brings my temp.py file back but I don't want that but I want to open so I can either go here to open alright or control O or I can go up here and click open so we'll we'll go to this one once again I have to navigate to my my Python folder double click on hello and there's our code so let's go ahead and run this now when we run this it's going to show over here what's being run so when I click on it First line is it's running file d mypython hello.py. It tells you where the directory is and it prints out hello world because that's all we told it to do. So that right there is how you create, put some code into a file, save it, and then recall it whenever you want to down the road. So I'm going to stop here for now and in the next one we'll actually change this up a little bit and make it a more a little bit more 
user interactive. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.